Okay, so how many of us equate progress with work and like hard work? This is one of those belief patterns that runs deep. I know certainly I was taught growing up, work hard, get results, you know, that that respect for a work ethic. This is something that has has gone deep, deep, deep inside. And uh, every now and again, we find ourselves in situations where pushing harder doesn't necessarily result in more progress. So particularly when you're working in change, particularly when you're working in changing thinking, often progress isn't visible in this way. And yet we have this pattern and this belief system that is caught up with the fact that if I can't see people visibly toiling, whether it's frustrated and wrestling with something intellectually or physically digging holes and, and filling them in, then I, I have this sense that people aren't working hard and therefore we won't make progress. But I wanted to share a little story today that somebody shared with me a while ago and I think it, to me, it's it's really, really similar to working in change. So if you think about people who work in creative professions, an artist with a gallery opening, um, what we see visibly is often a whole scramble of work in a very short period of time and then a gallery show or a like a visible um, demonstration of output and and those those shows might last for a week or a month or so but um, all that's really visible is is that show as a result of the output and we have a sense that some work has gone on but there's that wrestling and, and putting it together at the at the last minute that happens and we don't often consider that okay so there there's a period of time where those paintings or those photographs were taken and developed and worked on leading up to the show but even before that there's this huge piece of work that's going on that's not visible where ideas are starting to fall into place we're digesting new thoughts, we're coming up with an understanding about a theme or a particular topic, learning about ourselves and others and and what's going on that precedes even pulling out a paintbrush and putting that to paper. And so that creative process is not only the gallery opening that we see at the end, and it's not only the making of that work that we see in that, that last minute sort of rush, but actually all of that apparently blank space in between that might be months or years in the making. And the reality is that that end output was never going to happen without all of that blank space happening as well. That blank space is critical for those ideas to come through, for the digestion, for the understanding, for the thinking process to happen so that we can actually make those beautiful works of art. And for me, this is exactly like being in a change program. You've got an outcome that you're striving for. You have a chunk of very visible work, whether it be changing process, uh, you know, introducing new work methods, new ways of, of working, um, the, the automation of testing if you're in an IT project, um, prioritization of work, you know, changing all of that change in business process that happens to me that's that's right at the end as well but what precedes all of that happening is this blank space and in that blank space it's critical that people have the time to digest these new ideas and to start to process these ways of thinking and working in a new way and so your role as a change agent in planting those seeds can often be incredibly frustrating because what you're seeing a lot of is the blank space before we get the action. So it's a it's it's a wonderful way I think of um, of of this work in that it helps me to remember that my job is to plant seeds. My job is not necessarily to get the gallery opening happening, not straight away anyway. Ultimately, yes. But my, my job is to plant the seeds. And so even though that progress might not be visible, and certainly I'm one of those people that things are never moving fast enough for me, <laughs> but during those blank blank space uh, times, just knowing that 
people are processing, people are digesting, people are working through and working themselves up to the point where they're actually going to do that visible physical output workload. So um, yeah, so so that for me is is I guess something that is critically important when you're thinking about change programs is that even though it's not necessarily visible, even though that work is not necessarily visible, you're still making a huge amount of progress in that blank space. As long as you're consciously sowing those seeds and continually working through the thinking change that needs to happen, that means that actually when the work happens, it'll be solid and you're going to get the outcome that you want and it will be sustainable and it will last well beyond your tenure.